Hello everybody, how are you? It is Nancy, the Disorderly Stitcher, and it is Sunday, March 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day um, for all those of Irish background. So yes, and I even, without thinking, I put on my mint green Steel City Stitchers Retreat shirt. So there you go, we're all ready. The cat's being nosy behind me. So there you go. All right, it's gonna be a great day. So this is episode 44, I believe. Um, crazy things have been happening in my life. So yeah, we'll start out with that. Number one, be careful on your computer. I got scammed and I have no idea. I'll tell you what, my brain, it was like an out-of-body experience, okay? It's like, while I'm dealing with this, my brain's going no 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 and I just I just went into la la land so you know I long story short I canceled my capital one right before all the bills are going to be due and uh, canceled my debit cards and so I got the new debit cards so now I have to um, wait for the new Capital One card and go in and put that on, you know, all my places. And I went in and got the computer cleaned. And so, yeah, I was a doofus. And of course, everybody's saying, you know, it happens to the best of us. And uh, well, I must be the best because I was, ugh. And, you know, they're like, did you log in to anything while you're talking to them? No. Did you do that? No. Did you do that? No. So, you know, they're getting very, very sophisticated. So, um, yeah, I don't know why I thought it was something legitimate from Microsoft and I just went into mode. It was anyway, just be careful. Okay. All right. So things have been happening on the stitchy front and, um, in the near future, the weekend after Easter, I don't know what that cat's looking for. Um, in the near future, I'm going to be going to Pittsburgh for the Steel City Retreat and seeing all my stitching peeps. Um, that's what we call ourselves because of marshmallow peeps. We like overdosed on them. Um, so yeah, that's coming up in the near future and um, went to the knee doctor. Um, and at the time when I went, I had 10 more pounds to lose before I can get the replacement done. So as of the other day, I was down two more. So I need to work on that a lot harder and uh, we'll see where that happens. You know, I mean, I hate to say it, but if it, but if I can get this done before school lets out, then that's what I'm going to do, you know? Um, and I told the kids that, you know, I said, I got to be careful because the, the bones are starting to collapse on each other and that's a little dangerous. So. All right, enough of that. What are you playing with? What are you playing with? She's playing with a thread bed. She's a weird cat. So, how about if we mix things up a little bit? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do haul real quick because you know I went on a little fabric craze thing. Um, after I went to. The knee doctor? The eye doctor? I can't remember. Anyway, I had like two, I think it was the eye doctor because I had like two appointments the same week. But there is a small um, quilt shop in that, in Carlisle. And so I went in and I bought some fat quarters. I don't know why, but I mean, they're going to be, um, probably project bags so yeah this one this one's more of a grayish background I don't know if you can tell and this one is more of a blue it's the same print but yeah and then I got these accent pieces I don't know if they're French general or what and usually this is not my thing but I thought they were pretty so I got those um, 
my friend Sharon from Daisy Cottage Quilt Shop online. Um, she's a sweetheart. I'll link her. Anyway, I don't think I can link her because I don't think she has an Etsy shop anymore. But anyway, got some reds because, you know, who can't have enough reds when red's your favorite color? I think I had shown this. Maybe not. But I had shown, I bought this because, you know, when you're doing Shores of Hawk Run Hollow, you got to have a special portfolio or something. So I got that from Spoonflower. Did I show this last week? Maybe I did. I don't know. And then I got this for the lining. That was after my tooth. Oh yeah, I got the first part of my crown done. Getting the old pain. I'll tell you that. It's a pain in the tush. And then I ordered something about a cheater print. I ordered this, Lori Holt. And I figured, you know what? That's going to make a nice project bag or two or three. So I got a couple yards of that in my spare time. Two and four in the morning. Um... I got my um, color and cotton thread club threads. Now I've already pulled a couple of them because of a project I'm doing. So I'll show you those in a minute. But these are very, very beautiful. Um, these are the neutrals. Let me see if I can do this. I'm not the most coordinated person when it comes to being man white. So anyway, but they're very, very beautiful neutrals. So that was that. And then I got the um, All Colors Club. And these are real pretty. I mean, they're like, you know, colors of the rainbow. Pickle, Cardinal, Salamander, Bumblebee, and Marina. And, you know, this Cardinal, I might have to get two or three or four, five or six. Because cardinals are my favorite. Because, you know, they're red. Okay. Um, I also got my um, color and cotton thread, or thread, fabric club piece. Um, I get the 36 count. And this is um, Chantilly. It's a nice neutral it's got a it's got a really slight beige bone color so i got that and i also got my be stitch me club um vanilla latte i had already gotten that last year so if it's starting to go through the same colors we'll see what happens with that um for some reason i don't know why but somebody was selling some Lakeside Linen, and I've never used Lakeside. Um, it was on the D-Stash group, so I bought two pieces. I got Vintage Overcast and Magnolia. Sorry, they're in the bag. This one's sort of a yellowish color. Um, both 36, but I've never tried Lakeside, and it's, you know, pulling teeth trying to find it. I bought... Um, I think I showed you that one already. That was last month. I don't know why, but this one like really tripped my trigger. Because I think it's just different. And I love the colors, but this is Esther Benson 1739. Sassy Jacks. I got this one off of the um, D stash. And I am a you know glutton for punishment when it comes to over one and now that I look at it there's a lot of satin stitch and it's not my favorite thing to do I got to do some research on how to do that because mine is always very thin doesn't cover well um, I bought the um, I bought the new color and cotton Oh, classic color works, excuse me, threads 
that were released at, at market. So they are London Fog, Weather Vane, and Mauve. So very, very deep and muted. So I got that. Now this book, um, I don't usually go for books, but there's a pattern in here. Um, last year, uh, Helen D showed a project by, I think it's Karen Kluba. Is it Rosewood Manor? I don't know. Of course I can't find it right now. Why would I be able to find it right now? Um, and it looks a lot like And a Forest Grew. Here it is. And Helen just did a video of, um, of it. She finished it and framed it. And it's, I don't know if I can find another bigger picture of it. Probably not. Yep, there it is. I don't know why, but you know, I just thought it was beautiful. So the thing about this book though is it's out of print and this is the only place that this pattern is available. And it this is a 2013 release. So every time I looked on um, eBay and all that, it was like <laughs> ridiculous, like 50, 60, 70, whatever dollars. So on the D stash group, you can put a in search of, and I did thinking I'd never find it. And this very sweet lady messaged me and she said, I have that book. I'll sell it to you for 10 bucks. And I was like, please, thank you. So this is on the list to do. Um, I don't know when, but it will be on the list to do. There's some other ones in here I might do. Um, I don't know, but that one's definitely on the list. And Helen said that, you know, a lot of these trees are also from when a forest grew. Yeah. So on the list, lots of greens. Um, it's charted for, um, DMCs. There's some Smyrna crosses in there, which I can handle those. Um, it's done on 18 count white Joblin or 28 count, excuse me, excuse me, but um, on 28 count, it's about 13 by 13. I would probably do it on 36 and make it a little smaller, but we'll see. I'll just add that to my list. I'm going to have to live forever, people. Um... I also got Missy from um, Two Needles Pulling Thread showed how to take, if, if you use Weeks Dye Works Floss, you know how small the tags are. And um, I am one of those people that I will punch an extra hole in a floss tag so that if I have a piece of floss left over that is usable, you know, a decent length, I will keep it. And I will punch that extra hole. I'll just do it. Excuse me. So like in this one, all right? So I just punch the extra hole in the side of the tag. All right, that's simple. Or if they're my tags that I cut out, then I do the same thing, no big deal. Well, we all know how small those Weeks Dye Works tags are, right? So Missy, and I don't know who told her, but she found these plastic, I think you can see it. I don't have anything. Can you see that? Maybe not. Anyway, there you go. These plastic tags that you can put on the tags. Now you have to cut off like maybe between an eighth and a quarter of an inch off the bottom of the plastic tag. But it makes it bigger and they hang better. 
than these little holes. So I went through and I, I bought a box and I went through and I rehung all of my weeks that I the way I have them organized. And they just hang better. Well, I ran out of tags, so I had to get more because I know there are tons of weeks out there in Project Land. And um, yeah, I'm trying to open this up so you can see how they come. But you know, this is one of those things you can do if you really want to do it. This is one of those things you can do while you're sitting there watching people like me, right? So they come in a box. This is like a box of 300 or something. So they come like that. And honestly, what I do is I use an old rotary cutter and my ruler and I just cut. So yeah, pretty nifty. So thank you, Missy. I appreciate that. Um, you know, the downside is, is as you use them and you use up your floss, I mean, you have two choices. Either A, you throw that tag away and tag another one, or you just transfer floss from one tag to another, which, you know, that's not a bad idea. That way you're not throwing away the plastic tags. But, uh, yeah. All right. So that's what I have purchased. I need to, I need to hang back. I really do, people. You know what I mean? Um, because, I mean, Steel City's coming up, and then in the summer I have um, the Grace Notes Retreat in Allentown, Pennsylvania in August, and then I'm headed to um, Stitch New England in October. I'm excited. Really. So, um, another thing I got from my dear friend, Alicia, is I got my um, Fanciful Flamingo box. Okay. And she wraps it up so pretty full. And you get the card of what has been curated for the box and get the cool pink fluffy stuff um, so in this one I got a thread winder from Chris the camping stitcher and her husband Scott Mountain Crafts these are great great and this beautiful pattern from Sweet Wang and some counting pins that Alicia made. Pretty flowers. And the floss for the pattern. And the fabric for the pattern. It's a 16 count Grace Notes fabric. And a piece for the back. Finishing fabric. And a bunny tag and a bunny sticker. Right. I'm surprised they're not flamingos. And then this beautiful project card from Tiger Lily. Isn't that cute? So I got it. I had missed the order time and I don't know why, but I emailed Alicia and I said, if you have any left, you know, may I have one and, and you know, bill me and blah, 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 blah. So, Alicia was very sweet, and she sent one for, for one of my viewers. Isn't that incredible? So, if any of you, I know I'm doing this in the middle of the video, so I'll say something again at the end, but if any of you are interested and getting your hands on this wonderful, fanciful, fan, ugh, I can't talk, fanciful flamingo box of yummy goodies. Leave a comment with 
I'm going to make it easy instead of, yeah. Okay. Let's use the word pink, P I N K because the box is pink, you know, the pink flamingo, all that. So use the word pink. Okay. And I'll keep this open until the next U S only, please. I'm sorry, but I can't. Yeah. All right. Um, so use the word pink, make sure you're over 18 so I can get your address. Please don't use the word giveaway or winner or prize or anything like that. Cause we don't want the trolls. Um, so yes, use the word pink in your comment. And the next time I film, I will have the, um, person who was receiving this wonderful share. All right. There you go. Okay. The last piece of haul that I have before I get into my stitching, which is why you're really here anyway. I love, I don't know why I love samplers. I love doing samplers more than I love doing smalls, which is really weird because smalls, you know, you'd get them done and get them finished. And I don't really have any place to put them. All right. Like I have a lot of room for samplers, but anyway, I get joy out of samplers. And if you follow, um, hands across the sea, you know, that Nicola has put together a couple of exclusive boxes. One was for her birthday. I think it was letters from Europe and the other one was words of wisdom. And I didn't jump on either one of them. But then when Brendan and Laura and others started showing the words of wisdom, I was like, crap. Lo and behold, somebody put their box unopened on the stash unload group. And I contacted her and I said, um, would you be willing to let me, would you be willing to work with one of my daughters? I'm going to ask the three of them if they would be willing to get this for me for my birthday slash mother's day. And she said, sure, have them contact me. Here's my email, yada, yada, yada. So I must send a message to my kids and, um, you know, they were like, sure, mama, I have wonderful kids. And then of course it was like, then they said, you know, do what you want, mama, open up when you want. Wow. Anyway. Mm. It's a beautiful red, it's red. That makes it wonderful. But you know what? I haven't even, I mean, the only thing I've opened is one piece of tissue paper. I haven't even opened the little bag or any of the samplers yet. They're still all wrapped. You know, there's something in me that says, no, I can't do this until my birthday, which isn't until the end of April. So, yeah, I mean, I just, and there's, I don't know how many, one, two, three, I'm counting, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen hands across the sea samplers that will not be, from my understanding, they will never be released. I don't know, you know, never is a very long time, so who knows. But anyway, it's staying in its little box until I open it. Probably the only one of these I will ever get, but I think they're red. At least some of them are red. And again, who can't use a red sampler because they're gorgeous and they're red. All right. Yes. I got a couple sweet notes from some viewers and um, I didn't get permission to say their names, so I won't, but you know who you are. 
So thank you very, very much. Um, yeah. Incredible. You guys are incredible. The support that, that you show is, is immeasurable. I can't. There goes everything I just piled up. All right. So you came here to see what I've been up to besides all that stuff. Um, <laughs> here's the other stupid thing I did. I spilled something on my book of days. So I had to get rid of it. And so I started using the um, planner from My Crazy Life from Lori at My Crazy Life. Um, she has a floss tube. I'll link it down below. She put these out for 2024. I believe I showed it um, in a previous video. And so I was able to transfer everything for January and February. So like, um, and I kind of honestly, I kind of like this better because it's got the, the spiral thing going and um, yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, I was able to transfer everything. So like there's January and I still had some January looking stickers. So I put them in there and um, marked my snow days. And then I was able to transfer February and finish out February. Um, so there's that. Put a mask on uh, Mardi Gras. Somewhere in there. And so here's March so far. Put lots of flowers. You know what? Pansies are coming out. Um, pansies are my favorite. I have to get some pansies and, and print them. The, the goldfinch are starting to get their yellowy color. Um, the daffodils are blooming. St. Patrick's Day over there with its, with its shamrock. Um, I also started putting some um, Zodiac stickers for birthdays. Um, this was my mother's birthday. She would have been 95 this year. So, yeah. And, of course, we have to have the cat, right? So you can see that I have completed my Boss Me and my um, heifer board and my whip go. Um, so I, hopefully I have them here and I will show you if I don't, I will pause and I will go to the other room and get them. But anyway, here we go. So first thing I'm going to show you is Lady of the Flag. Um, it was, blue was on my heifer board and you know, it's like, why not? Now I keep it on a roll of, a roll of frame and, um, because eventually I'm going to do the crinic and the beading and I had it so it would come from my left side and it was really uncomfortable. So I decided to put it in the frame on my, um, Kay's Creations stand from the top and I am just like loving it. It's really easy to do. I can do the two-handed stitching really well. I keep my right hand underneath. Um, I'm right-handed so that I have better control over bringing the needle up from the bottom. Um, I will say the only weird part about it is trying to um, start and stop because I end up flipping the whole thing like that. But, you know, it's, it's, I'm getting it, okay? And I apologize for the um, thread, but, you know, I put it in there and I have it on my raven, um, my sort of bluish raven um, needle minder because that's the one I grabbed. So here we go. So I did, from the last time you saw it, I finished all this blue and some of this blue and this is where I am now coming down the side so I'm like pumped pumped people yeah the real kicker is keeping the cat off of it but she's she doesn't she doesn't get into it 
so I'm good now all these little swirly things will be where the crinic goes and the beads and you know I sort of asked a you know what would you do type thing question in one of the mirror groups um, on Facebook some people wait till the end some people do it as they go um, I don't think it would make a difference doing it as I go when it's on the rod because it's not like there's a lot of pressure from a hoop that would make the um, stitches loosen up or the beads break but um, yeah I'm excited so that's that um, what else have I been working on so this is my hungry caterpillar bag that I made because you can never to have too much hungry caterpillar um, this is on Prudence one of my pulls I don't remember which I think it was Whipgo was um, Plum Street so it's on Prudence I love this saying and it's got a very um, repetitious border which is nice sorry my threads are not in the best shape and you know like here's one that I'm gonna have to go back in and do the little plastic tags in fact maybe I'll do that after I'm done here because I can um, Sometimes I get on a sampler and I don't want to put it down because it's just so easy to do. You know, it, you, you have a pattern. Do any of you get like that when you have a pattern? So I'm doing this on 36 count Bramble by Picture This Plus. Um, and I did have a boo boo big boo-boo and so I had to tear out the flowers I started the flowers with the light colored thread and realized that I had read the symbols backwards so I had to take out all the light colored floss and redo it and then put the maroon or crimson or whatever it is next to it but there we go it's so pretty and I'm not gonna do the border all the way around I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do one page at a time um, double checking and making sure and all that stuff I just I tried to do the border all the way around with Anton Ufendel and it and of course the other stupid thing was I tried to do it at Steel City Tr Retreat last year and don't ever take something like that to a retreat you will drive yourself insane and so I'm not going to do that I'm going to do it one page at a time and that'll be that okay um, the next thing I only put a few stitches in on this because I was done with something and I grabbed this because um, it was there and it was easy and it's it's monochromatic and you know the whole nine yards um, this is the courage simple gifts courage um, Pam from just keep stitching was doing it for her um, breast cancer um, anniversary I don't remember if it was when she was dying I'm hoping it was when she was cleared but anyway um, 30 years so a lot of people jumped on this for various reasons um, I was gonna do the pink and then I started thinking and I decided to do um, greens because greens are for um, mental health awareness and um, that's something that um, my family has always struggled with and like I said I only put a few stitches in this but so far I've only used the dark green there's gonna be a light green motif down here somewhere I think but again you know once you get into it it's not that hard um, but I'm again I'm gonna do one page at a time and move on and this fabric has sort of a greenish model I don't know if you can tell it's on um, 
36 count graveyard mist by lap and loops I am sure I got that off the D stash group so I worked on that um, I worked on the other day after I got scammed I wasn't going to stitch anything because I was so mad at myself. But um, our monthly Hawk Run Hollow group that Pam from Stitch New England um, or Stitching in the Land of Good Enough um, invites uh, friends to. It's it's a kind of an exclusive thing, I guess. I don't know because, you know, there's only so many people you can see on a Zoom call. But anyway, I really needed to be there and um, because I just needed to get my mind off what I what stupid thing I had done. So, um, I am working on Village of Hawk Run Hollow, um, and that's the wrong one. Hang on. Hang on, peeps. Maybe I didn't grab it. I didn't grab that one. So, back up. Reverse. I am working on Village, but I didn't get much done because I was working on the willow tree, and I kept ripping it out. So I have nothing to show you. So with that being said, sorry about that. I think I hadn't done this before. Um, I am also working on the one of the exclusives for Homespun Sampler Group on um, Facebook. And this is Rose Hill Farm Sampler from Stacy Nash. And there is a lot of um, discussion about this pattern because the fabric looks really, really light in the photograph. And we all know that photographs tend to blow out colors because of the flash, if you use a flash in the lighting and all that. So the fabric we got was really, really dark, really dark. And um, I wasn't, I wasn't 100% thrilled with it. So I pulled out this piece of Dusty Cottage by Be Stitch Me. And I started working on it. And I think I showed this to you. I'm not really sure, but anyway. Life's crazy. So I got that much done and I like it. Again, it's a nice border because it's very um, repetitious as far as the pattern. But I do make sure I count um, because not all borders will have the same number of stitches. You know what I mean? I mean, that's what Antong is, you know, and that's where I kept screwing up because Antong does not have this, like, a consistent number of stitches in the same place in the border so don't don't think that you've got it figured out because as soon as you think you've got it figured out you don't got it figured out okay um this one i love this bag this is from um Black Cat X Stitchery. I bought this from her last year at um, last year after um, Steel City. I just love the animals. She's so cute. All the cows and the piggies. This is um, American American Sampler. Yes, and I honestly, again, I probably only put in one or two stitches yeah in fact I know I did all I did and it's still in the hoop that's how quick it left my brain all I did was put in that flower because I wanted I wanted to not use green anymore so I have to get that out of the hoop um, I'm doing this one on I have no idea linen this was before I was writing everything down um, American Sampler looks like this. So someday 
and here's the colors. This is why I'm disorderly, people. So it's a combination of Gentle Arts Weeks um, classic color works. So that's on the list. And then the one I was going to show you for my Hawk Run, but it wasn't Village, it's Shores. Now Shores is a, um, many, many, many of you have jumped on. It's a sal that we're doing, um, a leap year sal. And we're starting up here. We're, we're dividing each block into fourths so that this is going to take 48 months. Um, the big one I counted as, you know, cutting it in half. So there's fourths here and there's fourths here. Um, so the first four months, March, April, May, June, is this block right here. Now, you know, some people have moved a little bit ahead. Some, I mean, that's fine. What, you know, if you get in a rhythm and you get in the mood, do it. It's, I, I'm not, you know, the, the, the stitch police are not going to come after you. All right. So when I say that we have divided it into fourths, and I thought I had the other paper with me. I guess I do not. Um, and I'm doing mine on light hazelnut. Someone told me it's an XJU design. The one thing about Hawk Runs is they take a crap ton of threads. So these are all DMC. I would love to do the silks, but I don't know. Can't afford it. So obviously this one has a lot of blues in it. I cannot wait, you know. Yeah, the red. So this is on 40 count. I started up in the corner um, with the lighthouse and I messed up and so I had to unmess up on another row. Um, let's see if I can hold this. So I had put an extra row I think up in this red which made it one long so I had to come down here and in the middle there I made it one less row. But that's pretty much, I mean, the, the first month, I still have to go down and do this border part, but the words actually go into the second, fourth, but I wanted to get them done. And I think this bird is probably in another fourth of the block. And so is the bottom of the lighthouse. But again, I just want to get them done. And my needle minder was made by my friend, Stephanie, the New England stitcher. Because you just, you know, you can't have enough Linus. He's the man. I'm really out of it today. I don't know why. So, this is in a bag I made. Um, sorry, I'm crinkling. I made this bag. It's a vinyl bag. I even made a thread bed and I have no idea why because I don't really use thread beds. Because knowing me, I would forget what thread it is. All right. And lastly, what else am I working on? Well, I will be working on more later. Um, I was watching Emily C and she was going through some things and kit kitted, you know, a couple kitted projects and whatever. And she brought up, um, Ann Kirby, 1845 from Needlework Press. And, you know, she's like, this is one I want to work on. I love it. If anybody else wants to work on it with me, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I commented back and I said, are you serious about wanting to work on this? Because I have it. And she said, yeah, let's do this. So um, we created a sal. Because you can never have too many start alongs, right? Um... So it's the Ann Kirby 1845 Sal. That's really original. And Emily and I are um, going to officially start this on April 15th. So if you're interested in joining us, we would love to have you. Um, so that gives you some time to pull your 
supplies together or get the pattern and or do whatever. Um, it's charted for silks, but there's also a DMC conversion, which or classic color works conversion, excuse me, classic color works, which I am doing. Um, the, the silks are a combination of dinky dye, Soie d'Alger, Belle Soie, and Gloriana. But you know, I wasn't in the mood to go searching for all those. So I had all but two of the classic color works. And so I substituted um, two of my new color in cotton that I showed you earlier. Um, there is one DMC instead of a classic color work. So I substituted a color in cotton for that as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. So here's my threads, you know, very, very, um, let's see if I can do the fancy thread twist. Whoops. Sorry about that. So we have um, Old Oak Tree from Classic Color Works and Trail Dust. Um, Hay Bale is one of the ones I substituted. This is what I substituted for Straw Hat. Um, and honestly, all I did was go into 123 Stitch and take a look at the um, picture. I also looked to see if there was a conversion to DMC and then I pulled the DMC. But when I looked at the picture, I'm like, you know what? This, this is it. All right. Um, old lace from color and cotton. It's sort of a eggshell white. Uh, this is what I substituted for DMC 746. I have cocoa bean, which is called for, um, stepping stones, which is called for gingerbread barn door, emerald, Erango emerald. You need two of those. Very, very deep green. This is the border. Pine needles, English ivy, and honeycomb. Um, if you do this, you need between two and three skeins of Erango emerald and one to two skeins of old oak tree. So right now I have two of Old Oak Tree and two of um, Erango Emerald. Now I'm doing mine on um, a piece of 40 count angel hair by Weeks and it's an old Weeks, but you know, it's not too bad. And it's got this sort of creamy buttery tone to it. And um, so yesterday morning I got my sewing machine back cause it needed to be looked over. It wasn't, I have a thread cutter in my machine and it wasn't cutting correctly. So I had taken it in and, and it came back Friday night. So I was able to cut my fabric and zigzag it. Not that you really needed to know all that. So I did take a minute and put in a few stitches just to see what they would look like. And like I said, that, that Erango Emerald is the border. And, um, it's, it's a lot of greens and a lot of golds and um, very little red. You know, like there's red up here in this flower and down here and the bird and the house. But I don't know. I love it. It's fun. So again, I'm going one page at a time, which is up here in this corner. I was always a center start person 30 years ago. And then, um, I started, I started starting in the upper left and I like it. The only thing I've started in the center, um, in the past couple of years, number one is lady of the flag because I thought it was simpler that way. And, um, when I do Prairie school or Santa's, I start in the center. So yeah, that's what I've been stitching on. Not a whole lot, but it's progress for me. And that's all that matters is that I get some progress on some things. Um, so right now, honestly, what I'm work spending a lot of time on is lady of the flag. It's got my, um, attention again, 
because of the way I'm using my um, K's creation stand and my roller frame. I'm enjoying it. I wasn't enjoying it. And once I switched the placement of my roller frame, I really, really enjoyed it. So, um, and as you can see, to keep the, the, the clamp off of it, I have a piece of batting. You could use a piece of, you know, fabric, but I chose the batting because A, it's, it's white and I don't have to worry about any dark fibers or dye or anything like that. And, um, it's softer and I doubled it over. So I feel a little bit better about that. So yeah, that's where I am. Uh, school's going fine. It's getting to the end of the third marking period on Monday. This not tomorrow, but in a week. And um, the kids are getting a little antsy because the weather is getting better, and I have to keep reminding them that they can't do that. Um, that we still have until the end of May, and they need to keep it together. Which you know is like telling you know, it's like herding cats. So yeah that's where we are still have not put in my official letter for retirement um, but I will I want to talk to the Pennsylvania State employee retirement system piecers before I do that so anyway that's where I am all right so we did have a um, share from last time for the um, I had gotten two copies of the exclusive from a stitch in time the A Stitch in Time Saves Nine by um, Hands Across the Sea. Uh, this is an exclusive to that shop. Um, who knows? In a year will it be released? I don't know. But you know me. It was red. And I got it. And she sent me two. And um, when I emailed her and said, do you want me to send it back? She said, no. Share it with one of your viewers. So I pulled the random comment picker. There was like 80 some of you that wanted to take your chances on this one. And unfortunately, I only have one copy to give to to share, excuse me, to share with you. And this one is going to It's Only Stitching. So congratulations, It's Only Stitching. So please email email me at disorderlystitcher at gmail.com. Um, Remember, you need to be 18 and uh, to give me your address and all those good things. And I will get that in the mail to you ASAP. Okay, so it's only stitching. All right. There you go. So, also, just a reminder that um, the share for this month is the... Uh, Fanciful Flamingos box, spring box. Um, she graciously donated this to us. So please, you know, go over and check her out on Floss Tube. And uh, if you are interested in this box, use the word pink, P I N K. And this will be drawn for the share um, for the next Floss Tube that we do. In the meantime, please, you know, take care of yourselves. Uh, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, enjoy the coming of spring. For those of you down under, I know you're getting ready for fall. Hopefully things will start uh, cooling off for you. Um, and that you have plenty of time to, you know, all of us have plenty of time to stitch and enjoy being with family and friends. And, uh, you know, enjoy what you love, stitch what you love and keep your stitches crossed. All right, take care. Bye-bye.